When I was 13 years old, I began to develop acne and it wasn't just a few spots. I got acne boils and the boils were on my shoulders, predominantly the worst, very painful, all over my back. Then they spread to my chest and it varied around my face. Sometimes I would have them around the jawline. Sometimes I would have them all over my neck. Then it, sometimes it would be on my cheeks. Sometimes it would be all over my face. Um, but the worst of it was on my upper body. And at the time, there was no one other than a doctor to help me. And he just kept prescribing me antibiotics. So when I keep telling people, you have to look within to heal your skin, that means you need to address the gut microbiome first. I was predominantly eating and drinking so much dairy and I didn't realize this was causing my problem. And the doctor said to me that my diet was not causing my acne. So my acne was getting worse. And as I was getting older, 14, 15, still had this acne, it was covered in acne and it was really painful. You know, it looked awful. Um, I even gave one of my, um, she wasn't a friend, but you know, you have lockers at school and you have to get changed with PE. And I never used to like doing that because you would see my, my skin. And the girl next to me in the locker saw my shoulders and she actually freaked out because they were that bad, you know? Um, and they all, they're all scarred now, but you have to go within. So you've got to heal the gut microbiome. You have to change your diet and you also have to clean up the lymphatic system. So I teach you all of that in my second book, How to Be Covered. If you want a one-on-one, -on -one, I can teach you this as well. But by adding topical treatments, you're not getting to the root cause. And if you still eat the foods that are causing the inflammation, it's never going to go away. So this is Beauty in the Gut, obviously, where you will find predominantly the answer there, how to look within and start to heal the skin from within. Um, and I've given you the foods to avoid there for a reason. And I still get messages from, from people, you know, I've got eczema, I've got psoriasis, I've got rosacea. And if you aren't, getting rid of those food triggers, the skin is just going to continue to flare up because it's coming from the leaky gut. So whatever you're putting into your body is creating that inflammation constantly. And therefore your skin is reacting because of the food that you're putting into your, into your body. Um, and then if you have any stress on top of that, of course, the stress is going to magnify the inflammation because that's what cortisol does. Cortisol intensifies the inflammation when your body is already inflamed. So if you have skin problems, yes, I'm, I'm great with the skincare too, like you have to use natural skincare, but look within first.